What's up guys, my name's Gamer360 Sports, giving you guys some more road to the show with Oscar Bryant and the Harrisburg Senators. Oscar Bryant is slumping right now, hitting 241, falling from 257 from the first couple of months, and right now he's trying to change that. He comes in in a pinch hitting opportunity right here, and will bring in a couple of runs, a two RBI double to start off the episode. But anyway, Oscar Bryant right now is trying to rise up from slumping. And he did that this episode as this was a pretty interesting one. You can see he's hitting 273 in his past 10 games with three home runs, but it just isn't enough. He's up to 244 right now. I don't have a topic, so I'm just talking about the gameplay, by the way. But you can see he would fly out to the first baseman, which is not the best thing in the world. Now, top of the 602 count. He's going to try and check swing, but it's a strike down below. And he would end up going hitless on the day 0 for 4 with one strikeout being that check swing. But anyway, we continue on. We're taking on New Britain yet again. Top of the first 01 count. And he would hit this ball in between the gap, actually fall right into the right fielder's glove. This was a series filled with spectacular play after spectacular play. Men on first and second now. He would strike out on a high, high pitch on an 0-2 count. So you can see once again, he goes 0-4 for 4 with two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. We continue on, and hopefully Oscar Bryant can get something this series. He would once again hit this ball right down the right field line, and it would be a base hit as it would move the man to third base. That was all the way from first. Unfortunately, he doesn't score him, of course. Now top of the third, one out, trying yet again. He's going to hit this ball right into the second baseman, and that would be an error, either that or an infield single. Let's see what it scores right here. I think it was an error. Yeah, actually, it was an infield single, but still. He only gets the second base. He goes for two for five for the day with a couple strikeouts. Now top of six taken on the Bowie Bay Sox. And we hate Bowie. They've hit us already once this season. As Oscar Bryant would get a base hit right here in between the shortstop and the third baseman. Now the next at bat would be a huge one. Top of the seventh, one out, one for three on the day. He's going to cream this ball to right field. It goes up the side and this one would sail right off the base of the right field wall. And this would end up being a double. It was almost a triple, but yeah, Oscar Bryant did not risk it. And the third base coach said, do not run. Now anyway, you can see that double would get him all the way to home. He goes two for five yet again with two ground outs and another fly out to the center fielder. Now top of the fourth, still against Bowie. We still hate Bowie. And right now this is another base hit. And you can tell right now, Oscar Bryan is sending base hit after base hit, trying to improve his average. And right now he's trying to lift it from 241 up back to 250, hopefully to 260 and maybe 300. Now it's 4-0 Bowie, and you can see he struggled at this at bat, but he luckily gets on base because the pitcher stumbles on the ground going to first base, and yeah, he would have a single and an error in the ninth inning, so he would end up doing pretty decent. Now we continue to go on, and we have an advancement period right here. You can see we passed all four goals, including bringing in 13 RBIs in the, this advancement period. Now we have to have two home runs, bump up our durability, and also have better reaction time. Some easy stuff, and you can see we're still staying put in double A at this point. Which right now, there's no room to move up. The Just the left fielder in triple A is way better. Now we have a drill right now before our game, and you can see it's a good at bad drill. Usually they do decent, now it is 0-5, which is level 2. Now he starts off by hitting this ball into the gap. This will bring in one run, maybe two runs. As you can tell, it's pretty easy to do this now, but he is looking for the XP, not the level. I'm fine at staying level 2 forever, as long as I get more and more hits. You can see Oscar Bright will bring in another run on this RBI single, or good at bat number 2. Now going on to good at bat number 3, you can tell right now Oscar Bright needs to continue. He would end up having this ball go right up the center, and it would bring in another run. You can just tell, it either has to be a good base hit, or it has to be a 
a at bat that brings in a run. He would get plus 16 vision, plus 6 clutch, plus 15 contact, plus 10 power, and plus 7 drag bunt with 2 discipline. Now you can see we had a second straight drill unfortunately, which this one wasn't as good. You can tell we have four chances to go, and Oscar Bryant would cream this ball all the way off the back wall and left center field. So that would be plus nine power, plus seven contact, plus four clutch, and plus four vision. That's all he did. Now we have a Bowman Prospect Spotlight, and so I'll be right back in just a couple of seconds as we're taking on the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Welcome back to our minor league pregame show as we move closer to the start of Eastern League action with tonight's installment of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Oscar Bryant is our focus, and he's got to be getting a little frustrated. He's doing everything that's been asked of him, but still stuck here at AA due to a logjam at the higher levels of the organization. Well, I agree. It is frustrating, but if he keeps playing well, then it's truly a matter of time before a move up. The organization has said they're pleased with his development and performance at this level and that they'd like to test him at the higher levels. But it's just a matter of finding a way to get him there without causing other roster issues. I'm sure they'll figure it out, though. All right. Pre-game festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. As you can tell, Oscar Bryant has a fan club right now. Washington is excited, the fan base in Washington is excited, and so are the fans here in Harrisburg. Unfortunately, the record is not that good. But anyway, I noticed a couple of mistakes I made during the good at-bats. First off, one of those at-bats did not bring in a run. Second, I got plus eight vision, not plus four vision. But you can tell in this series, he's struggling to sort off because he would strike out on a pitch way inside and end up going one for five on the day again with a strikeout, a pop out, a ground out, and U3, which I'm not sure. But anyway, after a foul ball, 0-1 counts, looking for something with a man on first. He needs to hit a home run this episode, hoping for one right here. He would hit this ball right by the first baseman, and that would put men on first and second. So still no home run, still no chance for a home run this episode, still looking for that power, still looking to get up to double-digit home runs. Now bottom eighth, no man on, first pitch. He's going to ground this one right by the second baseman for another base hit. That's going to be the second hit of the ball game, and he did not bring in any runs yet again. You can see one time he got to third, but that's just about it, which his at-bat ended up leading to an error ground ball. Now he's up to 246, still sitting at eight home runs, 30 RBIs. He would hit this ball right up the middle, and this would bring in RBI number 31. Yes. Finally brings in an RBI this episode. Oscar Bryant is still looking for more, more, and more this episode. Now bottom second, 0-1 counts. Man on first, 6-3 here against the Akron Arrows. Arrows, I mean. You can see he's going to hit this ball right off the second baseman. It was a diving play, but he still gets on safe right there. I don't know if it's a hit or an error yet again. It goes either way. Now he's 2-for-2 two two with a single. That was a single. Men on first and second. This is the opportunity to get a hit. He hits this ball towards center field. And it's going to fall right in and bring in another one. That's going to be his second RBI of the ball game. Now there's a man on third as well. And you can see overall, he would come in to score twice and go 4-for-5 four on the day with a fielder's choice. Overall, not a bad day for Oscar Bryant. We continue on. It's the bottom fourth. It's a 1-0 ball game for Akron and one out. He's 0-for-1 on the day. And he starts off hitting this ball into the gap. This would end up being his only hit of the ball game as it would be a double. Unfortunately, he would not come in to score for an RBI or a run. So yeah, Oscar Bryant needs to improve that. He would only get to second base with three more ground outs. Now you can see he's hitting 295 in his past 10 games with two RBIs, a stolen base, and no home runs. Keyword, no home runs. He's up to 253 now, and he starts off the day pretty bad, going on a check swing that gets in play, and he would go and get a ground out. We now go to the top of the seventh. One, two count, Bowie up one nothing. 
He would cream this ball again into the gap. This time, it would fall just short of the warning track, and that would be another double. He could have got a triple, but he doesn't have the speed just yet to get a triple in this game. Now we continue on. Two men on. 1-1 one, one game. Top of the eighth. 2-2 two, two count. He's going to hit this ball into left field in front of the fielder, and this would load the bases for the Harrisburg Senators. Unfortunately, this would not end up giving them the win. He only gets the second base, and yeah, he also grounded out another three times. Now top of the six, still against Boy, 2-0, 0-2 oh, count. He would hit this ball right to the second baseman, but he would have an error and bobble the ball, and that would end up being a nice play to get on first base. Now we continue on. We haven't done many steals. He's going to attempt to steal right here, and this would be his second career steal. The first steal, I have no idea when he did it, but you can tell that's going to be an amazing steal for Oscar Bryant. Now top of the seventh, 0-2 count, one out, 6-5, and it is currently a hitter's game. He would strike out, though, on a swing in the dirt, so he would end up getting caught at first base. Overall on this day, he only gets around once for an E4, no hits with a strikeout. Now we continue on, we're still taking on the Erie Seawolves, looking for a home run here. He would hit this ball into left field, and now would fall in for a nice single to start off the series. But this is the smallest ballpark in the league, so you have to hit a home run. He's hit a home run over the scoreboard in right field once in batting practice. He's up to 251 now, man on first, he's going to hit this ball into right field, it goes all the way to the wall, it would only end up being just close to a double, and he would get caught, because the wall is only 323 feet at right field. Now you can see man on first and third, top of the fifth, two outs, he's going to hit this ball right by the shortstop, and this will bring in another run. Harrisburg finally getting something going, unfortunately they are so under 500, they are way out of the playoffs. Now it's 8-5, men on first and third again. Top of the ninth, 0-2 count, 8-5 like I mentioned. And Oscar Bryant's going to hit another ball, and this will bring in run number 9. So yeah, we end up being eerie on this day, which is pretty good. You can see he would end up hitting for 3-6 for six on the day with a strikeout and a fly and a dirt pitch. Now 0-2 on the day, top of the 6, looking for something. He hits this ball into left field for another single. This would put men on first and second. But yeah, he struggled yet again against Erie. He left the stadium with no home runs in the smallest ballpark in the league. So yeah, we need to improve that. So that means we have a good at-bat training session right here. And hopefully we get up to level 3 and get some more XP. You can see to start off, there's a man on second for this drill. And he's going to hit this ball... But yeah, Spectacular Catch, that's still going to be a good at bat either way. Because nothing you can do on a Spectacular play. That gets plus 4 contact, plus 4 vision. Now once again, another pitch in his zone. And he's going to hit this ball into right field. This would end up raining in a run. Actually lowering the bases, that's going to be good at bat number 2. And that ends up also getting plus 4 contact, plus 2 power, and a couple more on vision. Now once again, he's going to chop this one up into the sky... And yeah, this is not a good at bat at all. That would end it off only two good at bats in this drill. And we are stuck yet again. You can tell we needed more of those. But you're not going to do much when you only get plus 8 vision, plus 6 contact. And that's just about it, losing all your power. Now he's up to 333 in his last 10 now. Still looking for that home run in this episode. Man on first and second here at home. 0-1 count. He's going to hit this ball way inside. And it's going to end up being a fielder's choice. Putting men on first and third. Almost a double play as well. Now he's going to try and steal now for his third career steal. He would end up just waiting. He gets a nice lead. And that's going to end up being steal number three. Putting men in both the scoring position. Won't get a double play. Won't get a four sell. Now bottom third. 3-1 is the game now. He's looking for his perfect pitch. And he's going to chop this one right over the third baseman for another single. And the next at bat would be a pretty huge one as well. You can tell, still looking for that home run. Up 6-2, to two, bottom 6, and you can tell he's already got a run. He's going to hit this ball into the gap. It's going to hit the back wall, and this would be yet another double. Could have been a triple, but once again, like I mentioned, no speed on this guy. Now we continue on. 
and here is his batting stats. He ended up going again in this game, 4 for 4 with a sacrifice bunt to bring in another run. Still taking on the Bowie Bay Sox. I hate Bowie, that's for sure, especially because they like to hit Oscar Bryant. He's up to 263 now, and he's going to hit another base hit to get him up to 265 in the batting average. He's going up, up, and up, and one more at bat to get a home run this series. It's now 7-1, bottom 6, 0-1 count. He's a bit nervous, and he's going to hit this ball towards center field. Will this be the home run for the episode? Oh, no, it won't. No home runs in a month of gameplay. He's, he was good in contact, good in bringing runs, but he struggled getting power. He's up to a 64 overall, and right now, Tyler Moore is a 67 right behind him. Now this one, I'll wrap up this episode of Road to the Show with Oscar Bryant and the Harrisburg Senators. Next episode should be interesting as well. Leave some feedback and leave a like as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.